International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea Annex 1 Positioning and Technical Details of Lights and Shapes One definition. The term height above the hull means height above the uppermost continuous deck. This height shall be measured from the position vertically beneath the location of the light. Two, vertical positioning and spacing of lights. A, on a power-driven vessel of 20 meters or more in length, the masthead lights shall be placed as follows. One, the forward masthead light, or if only one masthead light is carried, then that light, at a height above the hull of not less than six meters, and, if the breadth of the vessel exceeds six meters, then at a height above the hull not less than such breadth, so however, that the light need not be placed at a greater height above the hull than 12 meters. Two, when two masthead lights are carried, the after one shall be at least 4.5 meters vertically higher than the forward one. B. The vertical separation of mast headlights of power-driven vessels shall be such that in all normal conditions of trim the after light will be seen over and separate from the forward light at a distance of 1,000 meters from the stem when viewed from sea level. C. The masthead light of a power-driven vessel of 12 meters, but less than 20 meters in length, shall be placed at a height above the gunnel of not less than 2.5 meters. D. A power-driven vessel of less than 12 meters in length may carry the uppermost light at a height of less than 2.5 meters above the gunnel. When however a masthead light is carried in addition to side lights and a stern light or the all-round light prescribed in Rule 23, C, 1, is carried in addition to side lights, then such masthead light or all-round light shall be carried at least 1 meter higher than the side lights. E, one of the two or three masthead lights prescribed for a power-driven vessel when engaged in towing or pushing another vessel shall be placed in the same position as either the forward masthead light or the after masthead light, provided that, if carried on the after mast, the lowest after masthead light shall be at least 4.5 meters vertically higher than the forward masthead light. F. 1. The masthead lights, prescribed in Rule 23, A, shall be so placed as to be above and clear of all other lights and obstructions except as described in subparagraph 2. 2. When it is impracticable to carry the all-round lights, prescribed by Rule 27, B, 1, or Rule 28 below the masthead lights, they may be carried above the after masthead lights or vertically in between the forward masthead lights and after masthead lights, provided that in the latter case the requirement of Section 3, C, of this annex shall be complied with. G. The side lights of a power driven vessel shall be placed at a height above the hull not greater than three quarters of that of the forward masthead light. They shall not be so low as to be interfered with by deck lights. H. The side lights, if in a combined lantern and carried on a power-driven vessel of less than 20 meters in length, shall be placed not less than 1 meter below the masthead light. I. 
high, when the rules prescribe two or three lights to be carried in a vertical line, they shall be spaced as follows. 1. On a vessel of 20 meters in length or more such lights shall be spaced not less than 2 meters apart, and the lowest of these lights shall, except where a towing light is required, be placed at a height of not less than 4 meters above the hull. Two, on a vessel of less than 20 meters in length such lights shall be spaced not less than one meter apart and the lowest of these lights shall, except where a towing light is required, be placed at a height of not less than two meters above the gunnel. Three, when three lights are carried they shall be equally spaced. J. The lower of the two all-round lights, prescribed for a vessel, when engaged in fishing, shall be at a height above the side lights not less than twice the distance between the two vertical lights. K. The forward anchor light prescribed in Rule 30, A. 1. When two are carried, shall not be less than 4.5 meters above the after one. On a vessel of 50 meters or more in length, this forward anchor light shall be placed at a height of not less than 6 meters above the hull. Three, horizontal positioning and spacing of lights. A, when two masthead lights are prescribed for a power-driven vessel, the horizontal distance between them shall not be less than one half of the length of the vessel, but need not be more than 100 meters. The forward light shall be placed not more than one quarter of the length of the vessel from the stem. b. On a power-driven vessel of 20 meters or more in length, the side lights shall not be placed in front of the forward masthead lights. They shall be placed at or near the side of the vessel. The term near the side is interpreted as being a distance of not more than 10% of the breadth of the vessel inboard from the side, up to a maximum of 1 meter. Where the application of above requirement is impractical, example, small ships with superstructure of reduced width, exemption may be given on the basis of the flag authority acceptance. c. When the lights prescribed in Rule 27, b. 1, or Rule 28 are placed vertically between the forward masthead lights and the after masthead lights these all-round lights shall be placed at a horizontal distance of not less than 2 meters from the fore and after centerline of the vessel in the athwartship direction. d. When only one masthead light is prescribed for a power-driven vessel, this light shall be exhibited forward of amidships, except that a vessel of less than 20 meters in length need not exhibit this light forward of amidships, but shall exhibit it as far forward as is practicable. Four, details of location of direction indicating lights for fishing vessels, dredgers, and vessels engaged in underwater operations. A. The light indicating the direction of the outlying gear from a vessel engaged in fishing as prescribed in Rule 26, C. 2. Shall be placed at a horizontal distance of not less than 2 meters and not more than 6 meters away from the two all-round red and white lights. This light shall be placed not higher than the all-round white light prescribed in Rule 26, C, 1, and not lower than the side lights. B, the lights and shapes on a vessel engaged in dredging or underwater operations to indicate the obstructed side and or the side on which it is safe to pass, as prescribed in Rule 27, D, 1, and 2, shall be placed at the maximum practical horizontal distance, but in no case less than 2 meters, 
from the lights or shapes prescribed in Rule 27, B, 1, and 2. In no case shall the upper of these lights or shapes be at a greater height than the lower of the three lights or shapes prescribed in Rule 27, B, 1, and 2. 5. Screens for side lights. The side lights of vessels of 20 meters or more in length shall be fitted with inboard screens painted matte black and meeting the requirements of Section 9 of this NX. On vessels of less than 20 meters in length the side lights, if necessary to meet the requirements of Section 9 of this NX, shall be fitted with inboard matte black screens. With a combined lantern, using a single vertical filament and a very narrow division between the green and red sections, external screens need not be fitted. 6. Shapes A. Shapes shall be black and of the following sizes. 1. A ball shall have a diameter of not less than 0.6 meter. 2. A cone shall have a base diameter of not less than 0.6 meter and a height equal to its diameter. 3. A cylinder shall have a diameter of at least 0.6 meter and a height of twice its diameter. 4. A diamond shape shall consist of two cones as defined in, 2, above having a common base. b. The vertical distance between shapes shall be at least 1.5 meters. c. In a vessel of less than 20 meters in length shapes of lesser dimensions, but commensurate with the size of the vessel may be used and the distance apart may be correspondingly reduced. Seven, color specification of lights. The chromaticity of all navigation lights shall conform to the following standards, which lie within the boundaries of the area of the diagram specified for each color by the International Commission on Illumination (CIE). The boundaries of the area for each color are given by indicating the corner coordinates, which are as follows: one, white. X 0.525, Y 0.382, X 0.525, Y 0.440, X 0.452, Y 0.440, X 0.310, Y 0.348, X 0.310, Y 0.283, X 0.443, Y 0.382, 2, green. X, 0.028, Y 0.385, X, 0.009, Y, 0.723, X, 0.300, Y, 0.511, X, 0.203, Y, 0.356, 3, red. X, 0.680, Y, 0.320, X, 0.660, Y, 0.320, X, 0.735, Y, 0.265, X, 0.721, Y, 0.259. 4. Yellow. X, 0.612, Y, 0.382, X, 0.618, Y, 0.382, X, 0.575, Y, 0.425, X, 0.575, Y, 0.406. 8. Intensity of lights. A. The minimum luminous intensity of lights shall be calculated by using the formula. I is equal to 3.43 times 10 to the 6th degree times t times d squared times k to the minus d degree. Where I is luminous intensity in candelas under service conditions, t is threshold factor 2 by 10 to the minus 7 degree lux, d is range of visibility, luminous range, of the light in nautical miles, k is atmospheric transmissivity. For prescribed lights, the value of k shall be 0.8, corresponding to a meteorological visibility of approximately 13 nautical miles. B. 
B. A selection of figures derived from the formula is given in the following table. Range of visibility, luminous range of light in nautical miles. D. Luminous intensity of light in candelas for K equals 0.8. I. D1. I. 0.9. D2. I. 4.3. D3. I. 12. D4. I. 27. D5. I. 52. D6. I-94. Note, the maximum luminous intensity of navigation lights should be limited to avoid undue glare. This shall not be achieved by a variable control of the luminous intensity. Nine, horizontal sectors. A, one, in the forward direction, side lights as fitted on the vessel shall show the minimum required intensities. The intensities must decrease to reach practical cutoff between 1 degree and 3 degrees outside the prescribed sectors. Two, for stern lights and masthead lights and at 22.5 degrees abaft the beam for side lights, the minimum required intensities shall be maintained over the arc of the horizon up to 5 degrees within the limits of the sectors prescribed in Rule 21. From 5 degrees within the prescribed sectors, the intensity may decrease by 50% up to the prescribed limits. It shall decrease steadily to reach practical cutoff at not more than 5 degrees outside the prescribed sectors. B. 1. All round lights shall be so located as not to be obscured by masts, topmasts, or structures within angular sectors of more than 6 degrees, except anchor lights prescribed in Rule 30, which need not be placed at an impracticable height above the hull. 2. If it is impracticable to comply with paragraph B. 1. of this section by exhibiting only one all-round light, two all-round lights shall be used suitably positioned or screened so that they appear, as far as practicable, as one light at a distance of one mile. 1. In order to comply with the one-mile requirement in 9, b, 2, the screening of each all-round light shall be as follows, theta 2 less than or equal to 360 minus theta 1, where, theta 1, screened angle of one all-round light, theta 2, screened angle of the other all-round light, 2, screenings details and the arrangement of obstacles are to be considered when carrying out the drawing approval process. 10. Vertical Sectors A. The vertical sectors of electric lights as fitted, with the exception of lights on sailing vessels underway shall ensure that, 1. At least the required minimum intensity is maintained at all angles from 5 degrees above to 5 degrees below the horizontal. 2. At least 60% of the required minimum intensity is maintained from 7.5 degrees above to 7.5 degrees below the horizontal. B. In the case of sailing vessels underway the vertical sectors of electric lights as fitted shall ensure that, 1. At least the required minimum intensity is maintained at all angles from 5 degrees above to 5 degrees below the horizontal. 2. At least 50% of the required minimum intensity is maintained from 25 degrees above to 25 degrees below the horizontal. C. In the case of lights other than electric these specifications shall be met as closely as possible. Eleven. Intensity of non-electric lights. Non-electric lights shall so far as practicable comply with the minimum intensities, as specified in the table given in Section 8 of this NX. 12. Maneuvering light. Notwithstanding the provisions of paragraph 2, F, of this annex the maneuvering light described in Rule 34, B, 
B, shall be placed in the same fore and aft vertical plane as the masthead light or lights and, where practicable, at a minimum height of 2 meters vertically above the forward masthead light, provided that it shall be carried not less than 2 meters vertically above or below the after masthead light. On a vessel where only one masthead light is carried the maneuvering light, if fitted, shall be carried where it can best be seen, not less than 2 meters vertically apart from the masthead light. 13. High-Speed Craft Refer to the International Code of Safety for High-Speed Craft, 1994 and the International Code of Safety for High-Speed Craft, 2000. A. The masthead light of high-speed craft may be placed at a height related to the breadth of the craft lower than that prescribed in paragraph 2, A, 1, of this annex, provided that the base angle of the isosceles triangles formed by the side lights and masthead light, when seen in end elevation, is not less than 27 degrees. B. On high-speed craft of 50 meters or more in length, the vertical separation between foremast and mainmast light of 4.5 meters required by paragraph 2, A, 2, of this annex may be modified provided that such distance shall not be less than the value determined by the following formula. Y equals alpha plus 17 psi multiplied by C divide by 1000 plus 2. Where, Y is the height of the mainmast light above the foremast light in meters, alpha is the height of the foremast light above the water surface in service condition in meters, psi is the trim in service condition in degrees, C is the horizontal separation of masthead lights in meters. Fourteen, approval. The construction of lanterns and shapes and the installation of lanterns on board the vessel shall be to the satisfaction of the appropriate authority of the state whose flag the vessel is entitled to fly.